Hi guys, Squirrel here. Welcome back to another Transport Fever 2 video. In this video, we're going to be doing Mission 3 of uh, Chapter 1 in the campaign. Uh, before we begin, remember, if you want to buy this game before the end of 2019, there's a discount in my video description. So let's crack on, click on the campaign, and see what it's about. Mankind is constantly... In the north of Britain, in the midst of the Victorian era, the industrial city of Glasgow is bursting at the seams. The factories are working full blast, but the competition is not sleeping. In terms of economic issues, the countries in continental Europe have long since caught up. Something must be done to stop the cradle of the Industrial Revolution from falling behind. Anyone who doesn't tow the line now will fall by the wayside. Right, so we can see the era is 1880 to 1895. So we're very much gonna be in the steam era. Uh, we've done the, the west kind of uh, coast of America. We've been down to Java. Now we're going up to Scotland, going up to the Scottish Highlands, where I think we're going to be making some whiskey. Scotland. The land of enlightenment. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> the land of progress. And of whiskey. The land of science. The land of industry. Not mentioned the whiskey yet. The Glasgow City Council wants to modernize the transport infrastructure so that the city remains the vibrant industrial metropolis that it is today in the future as well. With your transport company, you're as good as predestined for this sort of contract. Of course, naturally. The shipyards on the Firth of Clyde have been famous for their sturdy boats for quite some time. New processes for the mass production of high quality steel are now opening up previously undreamt of possibilities. A member of the city council recently proposed to you during a pheasant hunt whether you'd like to supply his friends in the shipbuilding industry with this essential material. Coal and iron are available in abundance in the areas around Glasgow. Off that. to the blast furnace with them. A pheasant hunt. Fantastic. Um, looking at Glasgow, I can see um, barrels, fish, and steel. Uh, and looking around, I can see fish over here. I can see barrels over here. Oh, there we go. Now we're onto the whiskey. The Port Ellen Distillery produces whiskey. Nice. Now that's interesting because that's on an island. So either we're going to be bridging over by train or possibly bringing in the boats. The boats aren't unlocked yet. Um, and then over here we've got fish. The Malag Fishery, Fort William. So yeah, it could well be asking us to at some point link all this stuff and bring it all to Glasgow. But for now, let's see what it wants us to do. Um, it looks like we're focusing on coal, which is down here, and iron ore, which is over here, uh, and the steel works, which is here. So this is an example of a... An industry that requires a couple of things. It requires two iron ore, two coal to produce one steel. So that's got to be done. Uh, I'm guessing at some point we'll have to link these two towns by passenger train. So if we do have a train line going down here, uh, stopping maybe there, then we need to make sure we allow for the fact that we might be bringing other stuff later. So there's going to be an industrial run through here and possibly passenger run. Uh, we never know what we're going to get asked. Well, let's have a look. So iron ore is here and here and coal is here. So I'm, I'm thinking coal, we can probably uh, make sense to bring it by truck. Uh, the iron ore, well, we could bring it by truck as well. Uh, that wouldn't hurt. Another option would be to bring it in by train. It's kind of on the cusp between uh, a bit far for truck and not quite far enough for train. However, if we're thinking of having a train station with a pass-through so that we can go to Fort William later, then if we build a section of track there, it wouldn't actually hurt too much because it means we can just reuse it later when we go down this way. So I might just, you know, all things considered, I might just build a train station here with a few uh, through lines and just maybe have a dedicated line there, a dedicated track line. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll build a four-platform train station here. So we've got two platforms for iron ore and then two to bring through whatever. And then we'll have trucks coming in here. So let's let's go about it that way. So first thing we need to do is probably 
let's turn on the console lines and have a quick look at the layout. So it's quite flat going through that bit to here. Now the, the steel product's going to have to come down here, which is interesting because what does the steel need to go? So the steel industry is on this side, so that's kind of handy, although that's a bit annoying. Um, I mean, we could do all of this with truck, to be fair, but I think train's probably better for industry. But I'm thinking the train station itself will probably want to sit right in the middle of this. Uh, we might have to just trash that section of road, maybe, and put the platform through there. But for now, we just need to get the steelworks up and running. So I think ideally we want a platform about here, and then we can run two lines that way, and then two lines through there. Actually, four lines through there, I think. So, yeah, let's put it about here, which means we probably need to build a road uh, just to connect the station to, maybe like that. And then train, building. And what we want is a... We don't want a terminus. We want a cargo station. Um, but they are modular, so we can actually add tracks later. So what we'll do... The important thing is to get length. We don't. We won't need more than 120, I don't think. Let's spin this around. So if we kind of do it like this, get the angle right. If we get it like that. Uh, I'm actually thinking. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's put it down like that. And then what we can do is we can use the new kind of modular building process that comes in the game so by default that's given us one track um which is actually a little bit close though to be fair let's let's move it back let's give it a that, let's give it a that. Uh, train let's put two tracks on the cargo yeah that's more like it oh, for a sec So we actually want it about here, ideally, I think. Actually, no, the... Yeah, that's where we want it. Because the, these two tracks only need to go that way, whereas the next two tracks will come this way, I think. That's how we're going to roll it. Um, so, yeah, what we can do is click on this, click on Configure, and then from this side, we only want to add another two tracks but these will be through tracks so we don't actually need a platform for them as such but what we will need on this side is a cargo building uh, so that we can bring in the shipment of coal so we'll, what we'll do is we'll just put perhaps a medium actually it won't let us maybe we need a platform first cargo platform do it now cargo building yeah there we go so we had to put a platform down just to make sure that yeah I, I guess what's going on behind the scenes is it needs somewhere to actually um if you bring in stuff by road it needs a platform to actually store goods on uh, so even though we're not going to use these tracks these are going to run through to glasgow between glasgow and fort william uh this whole unit is actually linked together which is great because it just means we can build a road from here uh we just need a truck truck station let's build a road first so if you have a road coming past it like this to the and then we'll just upgrade that road if we can yes we can perfect and then buildings truck station and you can pretty much see that the, the whole thing is just like linked up in fact that truck station there is actually linked to that as well which is kind of funny. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if that was linked. That's actually linked to that. That's really bizarre. Do we even need to move coal <laughs> by truck? I don't know. That's going to get weird. All right. Um. Yeah. Maybe if we put it like here. Let's put a truck depot. Is that the road depot? Yeah. Put the road depot down, I don't know, here. What we do and then a truck station down this end um i don't know if that's gonna if we even need to do this if i'm honest with you in fact let's just unpause it and see if coal starts to appear anywhere like does coal start to appear here because in theory all of that is linked together i'm not sure we need to move 
coal via truck. Maybe we do. Let's create a new line and find out. So we'll call this, this is a road coal. That's and we'll have from here to here like that. And we'll color it black. We don't have black. The nearest thing we can do is brown. So we'll do brown like that. And then we'll try creating a truck cargo. Got just the one truck for now. Sell it to line. And we'll see what happens. Because I don't see any coal auto magically appearing here. I don't believe. No, they've not got any though. It's not here. It's not. Yeah, there it is. It's so yeah. Okay. So it's actually dumping it here, uh, which means they'll move it to there. That should then appear here. That's fine. So the next thing we need is uh, we've got a train station we need to have here, but we're going to need a two more through lines through there. So probably the same thing again. What we'll do is we'll put the console lines back on and we'll have a train station. Uh, let's tell it we want four tracks this time. And then we can get, we can already get it pre-built. So we want it something like, we want those altitude to be able to continue straight through. So maybe about there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, right, so if we now link up these via rail, so we get some track going. We're gonna link the outer one of that to the outer one bar like that. And then the outer one of this. And then we'll put the little crisscross thing. So they can change over if they need to. Strictly speaking, I mean, we could just run two trains on this um, and not need to crisscross at all. And that's a perfectly viable thing to do. But if we have the crisscross in now, it means that later on... Actually, we could just... I mean, given the given the length of that journey, I doubt we'd need more than one train. In fact, let's just, let's just do that. Let's, um, let's get rid of the crisscross. Like so. And we'll just build a depot. Uh, where do you want to build a depot? Probably. There's quite some serious elevations going on here. We could build it out the way over here, maybe. Maybe like that. And then we'll just root it in. So it's got one connection coming in here. And perhaps another one going in there like that. And then probably best putting some signals on the thing. Because otherwise this, this whole thing is going to be considered a block, uh, which could cause signaling problems, I would expect. Um, particularly between this block and this one. I'm, be I'm, be I'm beginning to regret my decision now. <laughs> I'm thinking about how we want to do this uh, so that this, the moment this track is now kind of linked to this one via this section here. So maybe what we need to do is put in a signal for both ways just to isolate that section of track. And I don't think... I really wish it showed you the lines here, but anyway, let's see what happens. If we go with a train for iron ore one, we'll call it, and we'll say, right, you go from here to here, but you go from platform one to platform one, and you can be orange like that, and then we go for another line, and we'll call that iron ore two, and you can go from here to here on platform two and we'll color you an orangey but slightly different shade of orange okay so it's set up the lines um i don't know if they're going to interfere with each other until we put two trains on the line let's see what's happening with the coal situation i think we can probably duplicate this guy now 
Let's get like 10 of those vehicles on the go. We've got to start moving stuff because this train is going to move a lot more than those um, cargo trucks can. Right, by vehicle, we want a steam Borsig. There's 25 kilonewtons, 45 speed, 50 kilonewtons, 50 speed. Blimey. That's like double the price. I think the Borsig is fine. We don't need more than that. Cargo, uh, we want to be moving iron ore, which is the gondola. Um, it's just a question of how many want to add in here. I would suggest something like maybe like a hundred and thirteen meters. That's probably that's mediocre performance. Not enough power. All right. Okay. I mean, it is on a flat section of track. It's just how long it's going to take to get up to speed, really. 52 capacity. That's a lot. Okay, let's go with that. Let's go with a 48 capacity. We'll buy one of them. We'll buy another one of them. Now we'll put this one on iron ore 1. And we'll put this one on iron ore 2. And we're going to see what happens with the trains and the signaling. Because I am curious as to whether they're going to interfere with each other. Or whether those signals are going to block, are going to isolate them. The, tr the truth will be when this thing gets on the track, whether the next one rolls out or whether he just sits there. In theory, he should roll out onto the track and stop here. But I don't know what he's going to do if it's going to stay that way, is what I'm trying to say. Let's speed this up. So he should roll out, but the question is will he stop at the signal or will he roll on? He's rolling on. Cool. All right, they should now run independently of each other. But at the same time, they should be able to go into the depot, although strictly speaking, in order to allow them to go into the depot, there would have to be some kind of protection here. So that, you know, if one started to go in at the same time as the other one, I suppose they would actually just stop there, wouldn't they? So yeah, in theory, that should just work. Okay, cool. So they're picking stuff up. They're moving it in. And that should, I think, complete the task that was assigned to us. The shipyards go. crave steel for colossal tubs. The bigger, the better. But it doesn't get there all by itself. All right. So as expected, we're going to have to deliver steel down here. So we kind of anticipated that one. So we're going to trash that road. And we may have to trash that entire thing, to be fair. Rip that guy's house. Um... We know that we need industry here. We've already worked that out. So let's go for a terminal. Terminus, sorry. Passenger cargo station. Cargo terminus like that. We definitely don't need... Well, if we're thinking in the future, we, we might want to have one track for passenger and one track for... Um, let's think, let's think, let's think. We have fish to deal with as well, don't we? But the fish could, in theory, use the same... Hmm. Let's build a four track and decide later how we want to make it actually pan out. Let's start off with the four track. We're going to have to trash some industry here to get this to work. If we do that, now that should drop off directly into industry. It should hit all this industry. We're not going to need all these lines. We're probably going to reconfigure this because we might want to have um, passenger. These are all cargo. We won't want to have passenger later, but we can just rebuild it as we want it. Uh, but for now, what we want to do is ship steel from there into here. Um, which makes me think... Uh, hmm, you see, I'm using both of those tracks. I want to keep those as through tracks. Now I'm missing a track because if I need to bring steel from there to there... I don't have a track to do it. We could try reconfiguring this. That could get interesting. Actually, let's let's try it. I want to see how this works. Let's pause that. Let's disconnect that road. And then we'll reconfigure this thing. And we'll demolish that. And instead we'll have another track like this. And then we'll put the cargo building back. Now, this is something that you just could not do in Transport Fever 1, right? Ah, let's not let me do that. 
could be that I need a cargo platform instead. There we go. So if we have a cargo platform and then a cargo... Yeah, there we go. And then finally just put the road back. Oh, I want to do it that way. Let's make it look tidy. Yeah, that's, that's actually quite cool. Look at that. So that's something you just couldn't do in Transport Fever 1. Like, it, it wasn't possible. The whole modular train station thing just works really well. So what we'll do is we'll have a single, we'll have a single platform for bringing in, for taking out steel, we should say. I'm going to set this put the console lines back on. Yeah, look at that. It's a little bit hilly, but... Bring that into here like that. Okay, that'll do. That works. Um, yeah, so we've got it. We're just going to have one. I think one train with steel will be fine. If we need to add another, we'll just have passing loops on it or something. Uh, the only issue we have right now is getting a train in there because we don't have a depot. So we're going to have to just build a almost a dedicated depot, which we'll just chuck over here. Like that. And we'll buy a vehicle. We'll probably just go... Actually, the Borsig should be fine. I'm a bit concerned about the the running costs of that one. Like, the price is double and the running costs are more than double. It's very expensive. So I think we'll stick with the Borsig. We get better bang for buck. Now, we need to choose the flat car in order to have the steel. Uh, I'm thinking we can probably take about 100 meters worth should be fine buy one of them we'll come up with a new line from that uh, and we'll call that steel Okay, and that, if we have a look at this, there should be some steel there now. Okay, transport steel. Yeah, consumers, Glasgow steel. So it knows about the line. It's got iron ore and coal stowed at the moment because it's not really producing very much. Um, but once that... Once that steel line gets linked up, it starts moving the steel, everything should start kicking off. Yeah, that's pretty good, because what we've now got is we've got two dedicated iron ore, we've got one dedicated steel, we've got two tracks here that we're going to use later for pass-through, either for goods and or passengers. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is going to need yet, but I, I've got a feeling this fish... You know, bringing the fish around by boat, even if it allowed us to do that, would be horrendous. Like, train is obviously the way to go here. Uh, as for this one, I'm thinking probably boat is the way to go. But it's not offered me a boat yet. So we'll see how we get on. Uh, right. That should hopefully pick up some steel this time around. Although I don't see any steel on the platform. So I'm getting a little worried by this. I'm seeing iron ore and coal. But I'm not sure where the steel's going. It should be appearing on the platform. Oh well, let's just give it a second and see how it gets on. Okay, so no steel has been delivered, and I think I know why. Uh, it's because at this end here... If you click on this, it's not highlighting anything. And I think it's because, although that trashed the building here, it didn't actually create a connection uh, from there to there. And without a road connection, uh, it can't... There you go. See, that's fixed it. So without that little piece of road uh, and, the, and, and the ability for it to distribute locally, uh, now when you click on it, it's highlighted, which, of course, when we click on these, there's steel consumption. 
So that's definitely something to watch out for. That was uh, that was my mistake. I I built that, but it didn't. I didn't notice it didn't build the road. It just trashed this, uh, which is interesting because it trashed the vehicle. It trashed the um, the industry, but didn't actually build the road, which then got replaced by another industrial unit, and that stopped all consumption of steel. So although the game was producing steel, it wasn't actually shipping it anywhere. So there you go. Now the steel is being left. Now I've got one piece of steel, uh, but that should kick off momentarily, and then we'll deliver ten. Now, why, whilst the uh, the steel is being delivered, I've noticed I added a lot more coal cars because I noticed that there was a shortage of coal. Like the trains are bringing in tons of iron ore, but the, the the trucks can't shift enough coal, so I added a bunch more. And what do you know? We've got a problem. Yeah. So we'll just pause this a second, explain what I'm going to do. So we've got a problem here. Basically, there's not enough loading space, uh, and the only way we can solve this is if we, if we basically change that to coal one, and then we'll add another line uh, called road coal two. That, and we'll color that perhaps uh, that color, uh, just something to distinguish it, and we'll go from here to here. Uh, so these will be platform two instead of platform one. So that's plat. What's well, so terminal two rather than terminal one, which uses the other half of the truck station? So now all we need to do is assign uh, a bunch of these. So if we bring up the what's the easiest way of doing this? If we bring up the line manager. Sorry, what the vehicle manager really? Let's go there. There we go. So if you go one, there's eighteen in here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then assign that to coal two. Do you see how easy that was? Now we've got nine in here and nine in here. Now, I like that because that makes management so much easier. And it also means that we're using this truck terminal um, to much greater effect. We should, yeah, there you go. So we're now seeing the the industry recognizing that, you know, there's going to be a pickup from here as well. And half of the vehicles will use this terminal and half will use the other one. And the same thing will happen over here. Gradually delivering some steel. Now that's the iron ore train. Yeah, there you go. So there's a bit of steel left there, some four steel. It's basically, uh, it's short of coal. Uh, we've got the iron ore. These trains are doing a fantastic job with the iron ore. But there's just not enough um, stuff being moved. And this is an, an important consideration because there's only so much that these, you know, that these things can move around because each one, if you click on it, only takes five units of coal, which is not a lot. But the only way to do to scale it is to just have more and more and more of them, like ant, like little worker ants. Anyway, nine steel. So when that lands, that should be that completed, and then we'll see what the next challenge is going to be. You want that never to get to zero. Your deliveries of high-quality steel make it possible to build particularly seaworthy ships. Time to make use of ships? these robust steamers. Sustenance for the city's working masses is found out on the islands. Delectable fish swim in the sea. And the distilleries on the Hebrides produce an absolutely exquisite whiskey. It's called the Water of Life. <laughs> Get out there and explore the area. Every ship needs a harbour, and your venture needs a particularly good one. Yay! It's unlocked ships. All right. Okay. Every ship needs a harbour, and your vehicle needs a particularly good one. Build a harbour in the highlighted area. Let's see. We've unlocked this now. So what have we got? Buildings. We've got a passenger harbour, which looks like that. You've got a cargo harbour, and you've got a shipyard. All right. So cargo harbour in the highlighted area. Um, let's think. Well, it's going to go into Glasgow, isn't it? So it probably makes sense to link it as close as possible this way. Wait, wasn't there a, an overlay that showed street traffic stations, cargo, destinations? There was an overlay that showed shipping lanes. I can't remember where it was now. Oh, well. Um, yeah, let's maybe put it like here. And they've got a nice direct entry. Or maybe here, actually. And then we can expand it off to one side if we need to. There we go. Help to build a shipyard so that it won't be long before you can call a beautiful ship your own. Now a shipyard we can put pretty much anywhere. 
docks outside of navigable waters. There we go. So 50, 60, 90 grand. I'll do. Buy a stately boat that will sail you safely through the wild waters of the Western Isles on your daring expedition. Buy vehicles. What have we got here? So passenger, cargo, small and large. So we don't have anything large, but what we do have is the Wilhelm Wilhelm One and the Dinara Castle. Capacity 100, two compartments. Capacity 70. Loading speed. Wow, look at the loading speed. 50 times, 20 times. We're going to have to get one of these. We may even need a couple of them. We'll buy one for Explore now. the Western Isles to obtain fish and whiskey for the city. Fish and whiskey. So it does want us to use a ship to get this fish in. That's interesting. Hmm. That's a long way for fish. Okay. All right. Let's um, let's go with that then. So we want a cargo harbor. So I guess we just need to build this near to that. So it links in somehow. Oh, there you go. If you move it further back there, it highlights it. So if we spin that slightly, get them to nicely line up. Docks outside of navigable waters. Really? Really? You've got to be kidding me. There you go. That, that works. So that went white. Let's try the same thing over here. Maybe we'll have to build a road to get it to link. I don't know. Oh no, that highlights as well. Oh, look at that. There's like little direct connections into the back of it. Nice. Okay. So now we want to create two lines. Um, so we want to go by sea and we want fish. And we want to go by sea and we want uh, whiskey. Now, whiskey without an E is Scottish whiskey. And whiskey with an E generally is American whiskey. Generally. But Scottish whiskey should always be without an E. There you go. So we'll put that in there. I don't know what color we'd want for whiskey. Um, um, yeah. Probably probably one of these colors, but I've already used that. So we'll just go with that. Uh, and it's a fish. Probably just go with like a blue color or something. Even though I've used that for steel. Maybe that blue then. There we go. Right, so we want another one of these um, ships, so we'll duplicate that, and we'll have the first one we'll go and get fish. The line has no stops. Oh, my bad. <laughs> fish, yes, of course. So we want to go from um, fish, 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 go from here to here. And then the whiskey run will be from... Oh, wait a minute, that already had a term. Oh, my bad. I didn't need to build that. It already had one. Interesting. To here. That. All right. This is cool. This is going to take a long time, though, for ships to even get over, though. Okay, so Whiskey's got one. Fish has got one. Now... Strictly speaking, let's speed that up. Strictly, strictly, look at that. That is so cool. Wow, just look at that. Strictly speaking, I think we should make them wait until full, but on the very first run, it's probably not a wise move. Because this is such a long way that you don't want to be coming back unless you've got a full load. However, industry is buzzing. Thanks to your services, its need for steel is always covered. In contrast, a lack of personnel looms on the horizon. Nowadays, the city's working class is outrageously spoiled. The workforce is rebelling more and more against the prevailing working conditions. On the other hand, in the Highlands, countless hungry people wait gratefully for employment. All that needs to be done is to get them to the city. Build a railroad in the wild west of the Highlands so that this remote stretch of land finally experiences the blessings of modern civilization. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Right, so there's a couple of things here. Firstly, it wants a passenger run, as we kind of 
probably thought they would from Fort William to Glasgow. So we've kind of got the infrastructure for that. But we also need to focus on the job in hand. If we're going to bring fish and whiskey, I think it was, into here, then we need to bring it into the correct place. Uh, now, fish and whiskey want to be dropped off pretty much in the same place. So we can get, we can just use one stop for that. Now, I noticed in the past, in Transport Fever 1, if you wanted to drop cargo off, you had to drop it off at a bus stop if you didn't want to use a truck terminal. I've noticed as well as the bus tram stop now, you've got the truck unload stop. So if we put one of these down uh, here, it should hit a lot of this. In fact, if we put it there, that should more or less maximize it like there. And then what we're going to need is, let's get rid of that for a second. We're going to need a road network that links all of this together. So if we build a truck station, uh, we want it to be in catchment of this thing. Truck station, please. Thank you. Uh, we want to make sure we've got catchment to this, which we don't at the moment. I'm thinking it's because there's no actual road that runs across this. In fact, you know what? Let's just um, let's just tidy it up a bit. Rip that guy's house. We do that perhaps, and then like that, and then we'll put a truck station. Let's see. Oh, there you go, perfect. Even though it's very expensive because it's in a valley, that's much cheaper. Now that gets a connection though; it's gone white, so that will do. And then what we can do. Um, I'm hoping we can just use one line for this. So I'm hoping what we can do is we can say uh, fish, whiskey, like that, fish, whiskey. Because I think maybe the trucks can carry both, but we won't know until we build one. So let's build a road depot and then we can check that. So that's let's see vehicles uh cargo yeah look so they carry fish and whiskey and since the drop-off point is fish and whiskey that works absolutely fine so just give it a sec Get the line manager up fish whiskey we want to go from here and we want to make our drop-off bar and we'll color it purple Okay, game went crazy then, just started scrolling <laughs> endlessly on its own. Uh, buy vehicles, cargo, right, we're going to need a bunch of these, maybe like you know, 12 of them. And then we'll assign them all to Fish Whiskey. And that should complete the journey. Now, if we go back and check on the situation over here. That, has that arrived yet? Yeah, and so that arrives, it won't actually establish the line. This one's already been here, so I'm hoping we'll start to get some whiskey turning up. Production 100, shipping 4. Okay. So we want to start creating multiple of these boats now. So we'll have cargo, we'll have another two. We'll put one on the fish, and we'll put one on the whiskey get them going and then once these trucks are established the whole route from end point to end point will be established and then the whole thing should start kicking off now while we're waiting for that we need to get on with this other job that we need to connect Fort William so we're going to look for where the passengers are here and for that we need the land use one now unfortunately looking at this passengers are over here so we're probably going to need a bus route to bring people in which means probably the train line is going to go here. So we'll go train, building, passenger terminus, two track. We could even get away with one, but we'll put two for now. And we'll kind of do something like this. Let's put the console lines on. So we head off in the right direction. So something, yeah, heading in that direction there should do it. 
maybe like that. And then we're going to need a tram bus station right opposite. And then we're going to need a bunch of bus stops over to bring back the land use. So we want to get everybody from this area here. That, maybe that. that should do it and we're going to need a road depot as well which will stick on the end oops that was a misclick so we'll have a line uh, Fort William Fort William buses like that And that will go from here to here, to here, here, here. Now you can also have buses run the other way if you really want to, but I don't think there's any massive benefit in this situation. So we won't do that. So we'll maybe like six of these should do it. We'll put them all on the Fort William bus route. So that's gonna bring passengers in uh, to the station and then Fort William buses, stations reported following problems. Okay, there's obviously an issue. Is it that one it doesn't like? Okay, I don't know what the issue is. It seems to be one, two, three, four, five. I am not sure what the problem is though. We'll come back to that in a second. But now we'll carry on building the line. Uh, so now we need the contour map and the track. And we want to go right through that valley. And we want to hit this kind of bypass track there. We build the first one. Like so. Cool. Uh, and then at the other end, at the other end, we shall have the usual press cross pattern. Like that. And with this one, we will actually signal it properly. So we'll signal it going in back out put some blocks in now this bit here we're going to have to smash through both of these so this is going to get interesting Let's see what happens when we go right through that. Okay, that seems to accept that. Okay, doesn't like that one though. <laughs> Alright, so what we can do for now is just get rid of this. Um, we'll figure it out later. It's not essential for now. Okay, so that's a through track straight through there, and then last but not least, supply the city of Glasgow with workers none the worse for wear who haven't fallen victim to the union's pipe dreams yet. Now we are going to have to reconfigure this station because currently it's not configured for. Uh, this bit here in particular has not been configured for um, cargo. So what we'll have to do is trash this side. And we'll build a... Let's think how this works. I don't know if one of these serves two tracks. I'm not exactly sure. But we'll go with a passenger platform on this side. And then we're going to need a passenger building. Now, 
the passenger building we're going to have to put somewhere on the end we can't put it here so we're going to have to put it like here and then connect it in somehow um so maybe like that and then we get the road Maybe just connect it like this. Yeah. Now you can see it's uh, it's it's got white here, so that's definitely established a passenger link. The only thing is, do we want to put a passenger stop here, or do we want to actually put a dedicated building, like, and just trash some more stuff? So we could spin it like that. Like that. It really depends, like how much stuff you're comfortable with trashing like we don't need to do this but later on it you know th this is more scalable put it that way let's give it that so that gives us a passenger link but what i've not done is check what the yeah so all the passengers are down here so we're going to need to have Bus These stops. days, big landowners' fleecy balls of wool now graze where families of farmers once cultivated their patches. Lady MacDougall asks for help. She wants to know if all her little sheep are still together. What? Lady MacDougall? Help with accounting and look to see if all the sheep are still there. Okay. <laughs> Glasgow buses. <laughs> it's just like the random stuff you get asked to do. Glasgow buses are going to go from here to here to here, here, and here like that. So that's going to create a circuit around the uh, passenger houses and bring them to the station. Same as what we did over at Fort William. Like that. And then we're almost there. Just a few more bits to do. So what we'll do is we'll create the crossover like this. Then we're going to want to signal this going in and out. Okay, that should do it. And then finally, we want the line from uh, Fort William to let's go like that and we want to go from that station to this station okay well I want it let me add that oh I have to yeah you have to be very specific about this like you have to click on passenger like that because there's actually a passenger it recognizes as it does a, a it's not really showing the icons the right way around. It should be like this. But what it's doing is it's recognizing that this track is served by a cargo platform, whereas this track is served by a passenger platform. So it won't actually let me... I have to click the correct part of it. What we should probably do is go down here and just check that's going into the platform we want it to. We could use either, but maybe we want to pick one. Um, yeah, that'll do. So finally, we need to get uh, this guy linked back in. He's kind of in the wrong place now, if I'm honest. So we'll trash that. Get the new one put in place. And we'll definitely need to link that in there. We don't have to create the link the other way. We can just run it like this for now, but which I think we'll do to be fair. So we'll just put a we'll just put a signal in like that. That should do it. Now we need to create the passenger run. Um, so we go for a vehicle. We want something quick. Uh, so if that does fifty, yeah, this is a passenger line. We're going such a long way, and it costs a lot of money. But passengers, you know, being passengers, they want to get there as quickly as possible. This will accelerate quicker, get to top speed quicker, and hold a higher top speed, and we should bring in more money. Um, the question is. So we're going to keep clicking this and watching the good and seeing when it goes to mediocre at that point. So if we take one back off and keep it at good, uh, and then instead we'll have two of the two of these trains running. In fact, we probably need like 
three or four of them to be far, which is a lot of money. Port William to Glasgow. Unpause that. And while that's kicking off, we'll go and find what was the name? We'll go and find a sheep. So probably on the last question mark that we'll have a click. All the there people in charge have dozed off from all the counting. All the people have dozed off. Make some noise to wake them up again. What does that mean? I have no idea what that even means. We've still got this weird problem with the buses, which I'm not... I'm not sure what the problem is. Stations report the following problems. Fort William buses. Um, that's a passenger terminal. Let's try removing some stations until we get to the bottom of the problem. Okay, let's just try adding them again. I don't know what's going on here. Let's go with that. that. Stations report the following problems. Have I put the wrong... One second. Maybe I've bought the wrong vehicle. Yeah, I have. I've d didn't I do this in the last video? Bought the completely wrong vehicle. That's amazing. Okay. Let's send them all. I don't know how I even did that. Right, by passenger. There we go. This is what we wanted. Half a dozen. Four William buses. Jobs are good. I really, really, really wish that the error, like, gave you more information. It just says report problems, but it doesn't say what the problem is. It just says there's a problem. No other information. What's this dozed off thing? Do we have to, like... I must admit, I wasn't paying any attention when I clicked the question mark. I, I think maybe we're supposed to, um... I don't know, click on something somewhere? <laughs> but I don't know what. Let's just quickly see how we're getting on with the fish and whiskey scenario. Uh, 34 fish are waiting here. Let's see if we've got any whiskey waiting here. 56 whiskey, right. So what we're going to do is a couple of things. First of all, we're going to have a look at the lines here. And we're going to say, when you get to Fort William West, you're going to wait for a full load. And when you get to uh, Ellen Harbour, you're going to wait for a full load. And then we're going to add more vehicles. Maybe like four. And we're going to put two of them, whoops, two of them on the fish and two of them on the whiskey. And I reckon after a while they'll space out and that should start bringing in some nice money. All the people in charge of dozed off from the counting make some noise. All the people in charge have dozed off from all the counting. I don't know what it wants me to do. <laughs> Make some noise. Okay, what people? I don't see any icons showing anybody. So this is really, really confusing. How's the coal getting on? Here? Oh, wow, look at that. 267 coal. Production 161. I wonder if this would be better served with a more frequent steel run. Oh, oh. What's going on here? I have no idea what just oh, happened. Oh, yeah. Inventory's over and done with it. The sheep are all there. Madam, sir. Honestly, I have no idea what just happened. Oh, they 
was on two way and I wanted one way, what a scumbag. Okay, that will allow us to add another one of these. It should come out of there and stop. The new workers from the Highlands are remarkably productive as they slave away. To keep them in a good mood, and make sure they don't fall for any kinds of rebellious activities, precautionary sedation is called for. Whiskey from the Western Isles is excellently suited to this purpose. Supply the city with cheap booze that pacifies the dissatisfied so that subversive activities don't get started. Thanks to you, throats are well lubricated all over Glasgow. But on an empty stomach, the water of life makes people anything but lively. What's required is a sound basis in the form of solid food. A new dish is currently in everyone's lips. Deep fried fish with deep fried potatoes. What a culinary delight. Help this masterpiece of British cuisine to triumphant progress. Your services are going to stuff the city's jaws and provide fishing operations on the Atlantic with record sales. Okay, so something interesting has just happened. <laughs> so something very interesting happened when all that dialogue about fish and whiskey has, has gone on. So I've duplicated this train here. And what it's done is instead of creating it in this depot, which would have dropped it straight onto that line, it's created it in this depot, which has pushed it onto this line. So now it's sat here at odds with everything else which is a real problem. So we're going to have to try and... I need to get rid of this quickly. Like that. And then I need to look at the configuration of it. So that's definitely something to watch out for when you use... Because what I did was I went to here and I cloned it. And when I clone it, it doesn't really say which station you want it to be... which depot you want it to be cloned into. I wanted this one. Unfortunately, if you clone it here, there's no way for it to get back onto this track. But it cloned it here because this is still a serviceable link between the two. It's interesting. I, I can see why it did that, but it's uh, it definitely caused some problems. So we want one of these, and then we want... Um, I think it was like... Oh, no. Hang on. Bring that back a sec. I think we want, like, a uh, steel... One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So one. I think nine is what we want. And then assign it back on the steel run. Okay, so hopefully I was wondering why this train wasn't coming out of here. But I was sat here just leaving it because I thought, well, we'll wait for the dialogue to finish, and then I realized what was going on. Anyway, connecting and fishing, your service is gonna stuff the city's jaws. Provide fishing operation the Atlantic record sales. Build a cargo station at the fishery. Cargo station at the fishery and use tracks to connect it to Glasgow. Wait, what? We're bringing that in by boat. Why do we need to do that? Why would... I don't get it. Why is it making us... Surely bringing it in by boat is perfect. That's a whole lot of fish right there. Look at that. Boom, look at this. It can take up to 50 fish according to this. So it should sit there and fully load and then go. Build a cargo station at the fishery. It's going to make me do this. Maybe if we just build a... Ah, maybe we can cheat slightly. If we build a cargo station here and then connect it into this track, it'll say, oh, I've got a track link between the two and it'll actually complete the... 
you know, complete the the mission without us actually having to ship the fish in that way, if you see what I mean. Let's try it. So we're going to go for a building. We'll build a minimal cargo station. Cargo terminus. One track. Like that. And somehow we're going to have to make it smash through this road here. And join up to this track here. So if we just create a branch line... Fish out in the Atlantic fleet, thanks to your efforts, oh. the industrial metropolis of Glasgow is really bursting into bloom. The factories are supplied with inexpensive labour, and the workforce with hard liquor and fish. The city council is grateful, and has even proposed to Her Majesty Queen Victoria that you should be knighted. What an honour! Okay. So it looks like that somehow completed the mission i don't understand that last challenge that's a bit derpy like surely the boat would have been just fine so anyway um what's this one without fail some of the whiskey oddly disappears in transit is it likely that it evaporates out on the open seas no is it the legendary angel share that imperceptibly vanishes there <laughs> If it is, then the angels must be awfully thirsty. Sept. A ship sails through the locks of the Inner Hebrides, rolling from side to side in peculiar curves. Word has it that cheerful singing coming from the steamer was heard on shore. The nick in the whiskey. Captain Klein says the ferrymen are very poorly paid. So they might have occasionally treated themselves to a sip from the cargo. That just won't do, of course. If at all, then they ought to get drunk like self-respecting people do it. Inside a good pub where it's nice and cozy. Supply the pub with whiskey. Right, well the easiest way of doing that is to move that drop-off point to here. Glasgow pub. So if we go road, building, truck unload stop there, and then we reconfigure the fish whiskey by road route. So instead of going to that one, it instead goes to that one. Get rid of that stop. Then that should supply whiskey there. It's this A one. mysterious stone circle is going to transport you into the past, where you can help James Fraser an equally courageous and passionate man to win the decisive Battle of Culloden against the English Redcoats and write history in the process. You what, mate? The stones don't reveal their secret to just anyone. Prove that you are worthy of their wonders. How is this achieved? Well, that remains to be seen. Modify the carriage route and let it drive along the secret form. The solution is written in the stars. <laughs> what? What is this going on about? Solving the stone circle. Right, is there something on the map that looks... There's a stone circle. Ah, okay. Modify the carriage routes and let it drive along the secret form. solution is written in the stars this is bizarre let it drive along the secret form what secret form do we just need to modify the road that 
can't build anywhere here, so it's definitely not a building problem. Configure vehicle. Modify the carriage route and let it drive along the secret form. Hmm, what does that mean? So the thing is, I can't actually... Is it in line manager? Okay, so let's... I don't know, let's just have a guess here. So let's go from that one, that one, to that one, to that one, and then that one, and that one. I don't know. Drive along the secret form. Is it some special pattern? That it has to go on? The solution is really written in the stars. Hmm. I've no idea. Anyway, what's the other one? Salt supplying the pub. That should happen very quickly, I would have thought. There you go. There's a truck coming in now. No. Maybe they're the passenger ones. Maybe we're waiting for a delivery. A new vehicle is available, the BR-89. So there's 24 whiskey here, so some of it should be being dropped off by now. The secret of go. the stones has been revealed. <gasps> Although they didn't teleport you back to 1746. It was only to last Monday morning. <laughs> but maybe that is better than waking up in the midst of a fierce battle. Okay. Whatever I just did, it, it, it worked. <laughs> I have no idea why, but it worked. Like, what have you got on the back? you got five whiskey dropping off here. Come on. Why is that not supplied the pub? What? We just dropped off a load of whiskey. Okay, I am confused as to why this is not working. Supply the pub with whiskey. Maybe some more has to come in for it to work properly. Let's see what happens with this. That's pretty good. Like bringing in a hundred load of whiskey is awesome. Look at that. So you have now got... If this doesn't work, I don't know what, what's wrong. As far as I can tell, we're supplying this pub with whiskey. graphics are so nice. I love the way you never see any accidents either. All the pedestrians and vehicles, apart from that, just smashes into a person, drives right through. Okay, I don't get it. I, I do not understand why that's not working. Let's try... In a desperate attempt to get this working, let's try a truck unload. Make sure it's definitely linked in. Fish whiskey. I mean, when I put that down, I saw that it was it had an underground connection to the pub. 
so there's no reason why that shouldn't count now. The problem is all the whiskey's been moved. Maybe that got shifted. You got whiskey? Here we go. <laughs> Plenty of whiskey coming in. How's that fish doing? Now you see he's sat there waiting for him to finish off. So we've basically got too many ships on this route. Another thing we could do, we could add another uh, loading bay to that thing. But since we're near the end of this, it really doesn't matter. Right, you pal, you've got whiskey. If this one doesn't work, I've no idea. And then we'll just miss. We've already completed the mission. It's just a matter of completing the, the bonus task. Notice the speed when he goes up that hill. Like, it really... The speed really tumbles. Come on, bro. I'm relying on you to drop that whiskey and complete this. Don't let me down. Dude, move. Right. I've no idea. I think Glasgow pub is completely ripping us off. All the guys that were stealing whiskey off the boat have now gone into the pub and they're stealing the whiskey and they're, we're delivering it and they're claiming they've never had it. So who knows what's going on. No idea. Anyway, that's the mission done. That's mission three completed. So I think we better stop there. In the next video, we're going to do mission four. Uh, don't know where that one takes us, but look forward to finding out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you think of Transport Fever 2 so far. And uh, until the next one, take care, guys, and happy transporting.